Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Sherry and Kaylee. Well, I started the underpinning and the framing of the camper. And I had already ran into some problems. You know, I did not do the... Uh, let me get... I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm sorry. Let's talk about what's going on here. I had a board, a first cut going vertical. And there was uh, three problems. And one of them was pretty major that I didn't even notice. So Susie came over... Um, in the Ozarks and she pointed out that that was going to act as a water channel if I put one going vertical here and it's just going to go right down into this plate and we don't want that and I thought well how am I going to address this issue so I stepped back the second problem this board here does not match. I, I shouldn't cover it. Let me scoot back. It's too long. I would think it should match. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I think what the plan was is I was really tired that day. And I'm trying to think back of what I had talked about with Aaron. Um, my friend Aaron. He came over and he was helping me. Thank you, Jeanette, for letting me borrow your husband. But Jeanette's awesome, too. I don't even think they watch my channel. But Sunday after church, we came here and we worked on it for a while. We started it Saturday, but only worked for like an hour or two. And then after church, it was just for another two hours. So what he had did is we came up between the four of us. It was uh, me... Susie, Jeanette, and Aaron, we kind of brainstormed as far as the underpinning was going to go and what would be my best options. This is what we came up to, right? So we had four, four peanuts from the gallery. That was for sure. We had a good time. It was good and fun designing this. So I'll show you what we came up with. So he just built a frame. Here, let me turn this. I'll flip this one over. He just built a frame, and then we lined it with the first cuts. And on the inside is the reflectix. I still think the foil should go in, but I hate. What do I know? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> but it's not even fixated. So what we decided what we would do is, I think we're gonna dig it out and actually have it go under. To meet the trailer you know to where it's like on the very edge right here so we do need to dig it out quite well but the wood that's there is uh cedar and of course it's going to disintegrate but it's going to be a very long time before it does that i don't know guys i still think i have a frankenstein trick-or-treat bucket <sighs> i don't know I don't know. I got still. I, I bought two gallons, thinking two gallons should do it, and then leave me enough for touch-up paint. And I think I got a gallon and, I don't know, three-fourths of taking it down to the hardware store and seeing if they can't add a little bit of brown to it to see if I can get a more sagey color and not so... Frankenstein. <laughs> that is just... Oh... So there you go. I, you know, I wanted to share uh, some of these failures with you. I mean, I guess the window's not completely a failure because it's not really 100% done. So I decided with my solution, I'll show you the, my solution to all of this, which is in, in between the two windows, I'm not going to put anything there. I'm going to send down that glue and I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to take um, these boards here and continue it to where it's just one long board. That's my solution. Around the door, I need to get the black paint and do um, finish cutting in the door here around and around the window. I need to address that door though because we had a really bad storm come in last night and I had a waterfall inside my camper. 
it was not cool. Boy, I tell you, both me and Kaylee were like laying in bed and it was just coming down in buckets. And I looked at her and she looked at me and it was like, wow, you know, it was funny. We definitely had a very connecting moment. <laughs> so anyway, Brandy, check it out. It's not black. <laughs> I gotta come up to the mountain, pin everything back. It's funny. I don't know. I'm not feeling that green though. It's supposed to be more sagey. Who knows? I might even just say, just screw it and just paint it gray. I don't know. I don't know. It's, I was hoping it would grow on me. The color would grow on me and you know, as I added more wood, it would tone it down. And when I added the black, it would tone it down. I guess I just need to see what I think about it after it's done. And not just jump to hasty conclusions. Well, Erin has not been able to come over to help me finish the underpinning. I think that's going to be Saturday. Uh, this Friday, I would really like to step away from both jobs and the homestead. So, I don't know. I might be here working. Who knows, right? So what I ended up doing over here when I was like waiting on Erin to help with this underpinning in the windows, I would hop over and start on a shower. And I'll show you what I have been doing. So I did move my water. Remember, it's not, it's not a weighing catchment. It's just a water barrel. I put it on cement blocks. The black cement blocks that were in the front. I just laid them on their side and put uh, the barrel on top because I did want water right out the front door so I, I wouldn't have to climb all the way up to the mountain. And when I say mountain, I mean the back porch. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to walk that far. When it's 20 degrees outside or 9 degrees outside, I don't want to walk up there to get up any water. So I figured I would move the water barrel down here. But this area is going to be my bathroom, like an outside shower. I still need to get that done. My shower inside the camper is really, really small. It's two feet by two feet by like five and a half feet tall. I mean, it's really, really small. I mean, I shower inside. That's where I shower now. But uh, it sure would be nice to stand straight and take a shower. So, the tin... And there's more tin here that I'll just paint this. It's a, this one is an older piece. And I figured I'll just paint it to match the gray hair. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to wing it. There I go. But that's where the outside shower is going to go. And I need to make a walk path here. Going inside. But boy, I tell you, I need to address this door. I don't know what I'm going to do. I have to think about it. It was horrible, scary, horrible. You know, and these are things that I need to face and address before, like, it gets out of hand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Yeah. I guess it's better to address any issues that I have in nice weather versus in 20 degree weather. There I go. Well, everyone, thank you for joining me on this one. Um... I really did want to film when Aaron and I were doing the underpinning, but I, he was not comfortable with me filming him. And that's what I've been running into uh, as I do these projects, is the people who do come over to help volunteer their time or to help in any way. I always ask permission first, and a lot of them are just saying no, and I get it. So um, maybe... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a project on my own and actually feel myself doing it. Maybe the shower. You know, but I do, I don't know what I'm going to do about the shower. I need to work and think on that. I'll brainstorm. Kaylee and I will go in tonight after a shower and just kind of chill and I'll just take out some drawings and see what I can come up with. But it's looking pretty good. I like it. I guess that's what counts, except for the color. Maybe I'll start calling my little camper Frankie. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's cool. Well, ladies, I think what I'm going to do is get these Gibeon pillars moved. Uh, once again, of course, I mean, nothing new. I'm changing my mind again. I did start on these three pillars. I don't know if I 
film that on my last one. But there's uh, the three pillars, the Gedeons. So there's one, and then that one, and then on the other side of the driveway is another one. And I figured I would just go ahead and put the gate back in place, because that's the way it was supposed to be and always supposed to have been. And I'm going to put it back. Just kind of closer. Just closer, not so far back. This is the old refrigerator from the camper, and I turned it on its back. I want to make a wood top for it and maybe paint some flowers and whatnot and put delivery on it. And that will be my delivery box for Amazon or for the postal. I put a padlock on it. Turn it into Fort Knox. <laughs> Well, everyone, thank you for joining me on this one, and I hope to see you on the next one, and it'll hopefully it'll be sooner, and things will continue changing. You know, as I change and clean, of course, it's going to change when I clean. I'm really excited to get this done. So, you know, I did work on it a little bit yesterday, and I think I'll work on it a little bit tomorrow. Uh, today, I'm already done for the day. I am pooped. I worked both jobs. I work both jobs tomorrow and the next day. Boy, Kaylee does not like me being gone all these hours. She got into the trash. She was a naughty. Inside the camper, and then, of course, I forgot to leave the AC on when I left. You know, when I leave in the morning, it's still cool outside. I need to make a mental note. Maybe I'll put a big note on my door saying, remember to leave the AC on. You know, so thank God it wasn't too hot today. Well, ladies, thank you for joining me. Another Southern goodbye. <laughs> Try to stay cool and, of course, stay safe. And, of course, always stay beautiful. Catch you on the next one.